Okay, today we're gonna to take a look at the pitching module for Hit Tracks. We are at uh, lovely Evolution Baseball Academy in uh, West Williston, Mass. They're gonna help us take a look at it, throw some pitches. We're also gonna add in our new viewpoint feature, which many of you have probably seen with the hitting side. Um, if you don't know, it could also be used with pitching and catching. So today we're gonna to be pitching module combined with viewpoint video with up to four iPhone cameras running at the same time. We're gonna see all four cameras pop up. So now this is the live view. We're gonna have one camera that's looking at his back, one camera looking from uh, release point, so it's a little zoomed in on where he's gonna be releasing the ball from the back, so hopefully see some fingers on the ball. And then we have two cameras in front, one diagonal from the left side, one diagonal from the right side. And to explain for people that maybe aren't as familiar with the viewpoint on the heading side, it's gonna be the same concept. You throw a ball and immediately within a few seconds, depending on the network and kind of activity going on, we're gonna attach that video right to the pitch. So you get the pitch speed, you get the late breaks that we talked about, uh, all accumulating as you're throwing the pitch. Now with the viewpoint, we're attaching this in real time. So you're gonna get all four of these views, all four of these iPhone videos, which are 720p, HD quality, up to 240 frames a second, attaching to those pitches. So again, all in real time, no button pushing, no waiting around, it's all done for you. So that pitch comes in, pitch below, it's for a strike, you can see middle, middle, negative seven degrees, it's a nice pitch there. Out of hand speed was 66, pitch below was 60, at the late breaks, and now we got that video replaying. So I'm gonna pause that. We're able to scrub it, going around, back and forth. Right back up to the beginning. I can go slow-mo, pause it again. I can go frame by frame with a single arrow. You get a little bit faster slow-mo if you wanna see that. If you just wanna let it play through, you can see that circular arrows highlighted right now. It's just gonna keep replaying it. And what I wanna point out is that top right video screen, we can actually see those hands. If you wanna zoom in, you're able to on the iPhone, you can see maybe a little clearer view, but you're able to set up these iPhones wherever you want. They're wireless, they're communicating wirelessly with this computer, so you have complete freedom. You can do the diagonal views, you can do the back, you can do top down, you can do whatever you wanna do. Okay, so now we have some pitches in here. Uh, you can see the last pitch thrown here um, by Gavin. We have the vertical break up top, so that last 10 or so feet, down 6.9 inches, horizontal break, he actually went to the right, 1.9 inches. Um, so that was a change up, and I'm clicking around down here as he's throwing different pitches. So you can see at the bottom, what I mentioned before, total pitches is nine. As I switch from pitch to pitch, you're gonna see this stuff in here change, depending on what you're clicking on. Um, so that kind of resets every time, but you're always gonna see total pitches on the left. And every pitch, of course, is getting charted and accordingly to whatever that, that pitch type is. Um, but moving on to the middle here, you can see we have peak and plate speed. So peak is that out of hand. So I made sure I put in that 60 feet, whatever that mountain distance is, 70.2 miles an hour. The plate speed, you can see it dropped from about to 63.4 miles an hour as it crossed the plate. Again, very, very important. You don't want people thinking they're throwing 63 when they're actually throwing 70 miles an hour. Uh, result, ball, you can see the angle. So that's actually the pitch angle as it crosses home plate. We started showing that on the hitting side a few years back. Um, super beneficial for the hitters to be able to know if they're hitting a negative 15 from maybe some loose front toss or a curve ball or whatever it is, or trying to simulate that game-like angle that's more of a fastball that's three, four, five degrees or something. Um, so now you can see it as a pitcher too. Is your curve ball after you change your, your finger placement maybe on the seam or it's, it's gonna be dropping more, more of an angle at home plate. Um, vertical horizontal break, what we just talked about there, negative uh, 6.9 inches drop. You can see horizontal break left to right or right to left, whatever that is, the, the inch measurement. Um, and then he just throw it through a pitch. You can see that one camera view just replaying on the top right. And if I click back on that, go back to the live feed, of him out there, you can see the, the pitch location as, as well. So as he throws a pitch, you'll see that ball pop up directly in the zone, accurate within a quarter of an inch, and those pitches are gonna start filling in as well in the different locations. Reports that get generated here, the report button, same as the, the hitting reports, gonna be in the bottom right. Three different sections, I'll start with session analysis. This just takes different pitch types and put, gives a strike percentage, average VLOs, the breaks, pretty much everything we're looking at brings it all together. So you can see nine pitches with a four seam. There's his average VLO, his max VLO. If we do have a hitter in there, you can do simultaneous tracking. You can see batting average against with each pitch type. If I want to go to velocity control, this is a pretty cool one. If you're doing a full bullpen session, you're trying to do 40, 50, 60 pitches, how's his velocity doing over the course of that session? Is it consistent? Is it dropping off after 20, 30 pitches? Is he gaining speed? Kind of maybe start picking apart what type of thrower he is. 
and you can go by just four seam if you want, uncheck change up, but refresh, you can see him. I'm just doing a demo with eight pitches, but his, his velocity is increasing. So he's gotten up to uh, the highest velo the last two pitches that he threw. Or if I just want to look at change ups, I can do that as well. Only four pitches, but you can see that. And then session review. This is going to give you all your pitches together one by one with the video. So I can see all the different late breaks. You can see it's pretty populated there, but if I want to, I can click on certain ones. Maybe we'll just go to one of the second ones he threw today. There's the break, the distance it broke down actually. Uh, the horizontal break, you can see the speed, the zone it was in. You can also see the exact pitch location just off the plate and the inner half to a righty. And then click on the video camera. You can see one view, go to view all. Now we're seeing those four viewpoint videos. So same as before, we can pick it apart, do the slow-mo, whatever we need. And you can also compare side by side. So again, just like the, the heading viewpoint, we're putting all those capabilities into this session. I can compare that, maybe the first one he threw, add that in comparison. You can see the review populating now too. I can put in three, four, five swings, whatever, or pitches, excuse me, whatever you want. Go to review. We'll see all of those that we selected down at the bottom. I can pull up whichever one I like. You can compare two at the same time. And then you obviously want to match up. Uh, let's just go my phone for each one. I want to match up that view. And then I typically like to go to right around release points so you know it's at the same point, although they should be pretty similar. And then you can play back sync. Click those arrows at the bottom. Now they're going to move simultaneously. With the metrics on the right side. So there's the velo, location, the brakes, everything we're looking at. And all this stuff can be emailed as well. So just like before, you can email videos simultaneously, those, those comparison windows, you can take the screenshots, do your drawing tools, uh, whatever you'd like. So pretty excited uh, to get people using the pitching module more. I think the viewpoint is going to be a huge ad. Uh, the heading's already taken off with viewpoint. So if you haven't already, try it with the pitching. A lot of value there. Thank you.